So this is the reservoir, huh? The name's adorable. What is it? An old vacation spot? Where you got late for the first time? We just really liked reservoir dogs growing up. Huh. Well, listen, you boys are solid. A little rough around the edges, but that's okay. So I have an offer for you. Holy shit. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But there's a show tonight in Jersey City. I think you guys fit in really well. If you can prove to me that you have what it takes to make it in Brooklyn, I think I can take you to the next level. What does that mean exactly? I could manage you. I could set you up with some of my guys. I can book you in places that where they'd actually hear you. Why wouldn't they hear us? You're pure rock. You're not punk. You're not EDM. You're not this acoustical wimp-ass bullshit. You're pure rock. This ain't 1975, okay? So, wouldn't that help us stand out? People have to give a shit, okay? Look, man, he knows what he's talking about. I mean, you managed the strokes when they started out, right? I was this close. But they signed with that prick Steve Gentile, so I... But I was with them up until the end. Who else have you managed? Grace Speed in the nineties. I had Threads of Yarn, I had Freeze Kiss, I had... Uh, Rune Tone, a whole bunch of Brooklyn acts. Then the divorce. Oh, I don't know of that. You wouldn't. It's my ex-wife, Lori. High maintenance bullshit, let me tell you. But I got my hooks on some bands again, and I got some headliners this spring. <laughs> Listen, I'm really flattered, but I just can't. Come on, man. What? I have to fly to school tomorrow with my parents at 6.30. Tickets are non-refundable. Well, you can pay them back when we sell our first record. I mean, when are we going to get another opportunity like this? Listen, you guys work this out amongst yourselves. I need an answer by 8. The spot's at 9. 